Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews for the 10,000 subscriber special. Uh, I do appreciate before we get started with this beer, and this would be an awesome beer. Uh, I want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, we hit the 10,000 subscriber mark, and I am humbled and blown away that it has came this far this fast. So guys, thanks a lot for watching the reviews and commenting and hitting the like button and, and everything and, and all the beers everybody sends me uh, to review. This particular one was sent to me a year or so ago by one of my subscribers and I apologize that I do n I've had this one in the fridge downstairs and I do not remember who sent it to me and it's that's what happens when you get old and feeble like I am. Uh, I'm trying to uh, put a piece of tape on them and write who sends these beers, especially these bigger beers that end up in the fridge and, uh, and stay down there for a while. So I apologize again for not knowing who sent this to me. This is a, as the English would say, a bloody awesome beer. I love Old Rasputin. And this is the barrel aged version. And this is the uh, Russian Imperial Stout. 14 and this beer is retired now so uh, this is either from last year or the year before uh, when they did this one so and it's got the cork in the top of the bottle uh, and, and, and I am so sorry that I do not remember who sent this to me so if you sent this beer to me let me know in the comments and uh, and refresh my old people memory and guys just a quick update on my eye uh, I've been having a lot of problems with my eye I went to the the uh, eyeglass place and I had a bunch of scratches on my left eye. Evidently my eye is coming up while I'm sleeping and my pillowcase is scratching my eye. So they give me some drops and stuff to put in while I'm sleeping and I wear an eye patch on this eye now because I always sleep on this side. I don't want to bore you with a bunch of details but I went back Saturday and uh, the scratches have, have healed but they say I have to have cataract surgery and probably in both eyes. So this week I got to go to see the eye surgeon and see what he tells me. So yeah. Here's what it is. This sucks getting old, guys, and that's just part of it. So, uh, if I need glasses for me now without having the surgery, uh, my eyes I have nearsightedness in one and farsightedness in the other, and it would cause me to have double vision if I don't get to cataract surgery, according to them. So, we'll see what the eye surgeon has to say. So, enough about me. Let's talk about the beer. Old Rasputin Bourbon Barrel Age. This is 14. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've been saving this for a special occasion. And this is that special occasion. 10,000 subscribers. Blown away. I am blown away, guys, that it's come that far that fast. So thanks again for all you subscribers. Let's get on with the beer. All right, guys, this is done by North Coast, North Coast Brewery. They're out of California. Uh, this was brewed one time, and it is retired now. So let's see if we have a commercial description on this one says here the commercial description seems hard to believe that we've been making all Rasputin for 10 years now but that's what has happened and to celebrate the occasion we brewed a special small batch that's been, been aged for nine months in bourbon barrels uh, and in some 12 year old bourbon barrels on top of that it's bottled in 500 milliliter bottles like you see here with a cork and wired finish for, and a special commemorative, commemorative label and it's amazing. The depth, intensity, and complexity of the flavor profile make it a worthy tribute to this fine beer. So, uh, I knew it would. Like I said, I, I'm a big fan of the old Rasputin. So, I've been saving this bourbon barrel aged version for, for a while now. I think it's over a year now. A year to a year and a half to two years. So, this is the day that we're going to pop the cork on this one and celebrate. 
the food pranks of this, since it is a stout, it, it, they say it goes well with your chocolate dishes. The glass wire, you could use a pie if you wanted to, but more better is the uh, the Dubo glasses, which I'm going to use here. You could use a snifter or an oversized wine glass. And the beer being an 11 and a half percenter will sell it for quite a while, guys. So, with enough of me flapping my gums, let's get the cage off of this one and get it into the glass. Really looking forward to this one. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. See if I have enough strength in my old arms to get the cork out of it. Oh no. Ah. Here we go. Ah, yes. Very nice. And since it's 11 and a half, we're going to go down in the center. Right on. Alright, this is a big bottle. We're going to save what's left for the other half. Let her enjoy it too. She usually gets uh, if not, if it's a small bottle, she gets a taste or two, whatever she wants. And if it's a bigger bottle, she gets a glass just like I do. So, that's just the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Alright guys, over to the light. There is none. It is pitch black. This is just like the old Rasputin is. I mean, it's a very dark beer. And this is, uh, this is exactly like that. Except they've aged it in some bourbon barrels, which I am a big fan of. So... Looks great in the glass. We got us a good finger of head on that one, on that down the center pour. Very impressive for 11 and a half percenter, I may add. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah. I'm getting the bourbon. Yeah, I like it. Bourbon, chocolate, dark fruit. Got a sweet smell to it, but I am getting some of the alcohol. I mean, it's 11 and a half percent. This is a sipper, not a gulper. Well, I wish I could get the barrel aged version of this here. All we can get is the regular version, which is an awesome beer. Wow, got a wonderful bourbon nose on it, guys. I could smell this all night. Wow. Smells wonderful. Now the head is dissipating. We just barely got a little bit covering the beer. So let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Happy 10,000 subscriber special. Oh, wow. That is delicious. I knew it was going to be, though. The anticipation of me doing this beer is only matched by the deliciousness of the beer. Bourbon, chocolate, dark roasted malt, dark fruit, raisins, dates, plums, figs. Wow. And this is 40 degrees. It's actually probably a little bit less than that. Probably between 36 and 40 because I keep this in the, one of the cellaring fridges downstairs. And it's just a little bit colder than the one I have upstairs here. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. It's delicious. We're going to let it warm up. I know it's going to change a little bit as it warms, get up to room temperature, and we'll do a, a better justification on uh, what the beer is. Uh, but I know, if I was grinding it right now, I know what I would give it. So let's let it warm up, and we'll come back and we'll do the final chug on this one. Thanks so much for uh, watching and subscribing, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Welcome back to the one, one, 10,000 subscriber special. We're doing the uh, old Rasputin bourbon barrel aged 14. This beer is delicious. It's awesome. It's everything that I anticipated it being. I can't think of a better beer to do the 10,000 subscriber beer review with. So let's do the final show here. A very well made beer. It's awesome. The bourbon, the uh, chocolate, bittersweet chocolate, dark fruit, 
perfectly balanced. Not too bitter, not too sweet. I just wish I could remember who sent this beer to me. That's what happens when you get old, guys. So I need to write on the back of these bottles, and what, which I, what I'm doing now. I am writing on the back of them who sent these beers, especially the ones like this that I end up putting in the cellar and fridges downstairs. So, guys, it's a 10. It is a 10 as far as I'm concerned. The, the bourbon barrel aging really steps this beer up a notch. So, I can't think of a thing that I would do to this beer that would make this beer better. So, it gets a 10 from me. So, let's see what the other guys got to say about this one. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first, and they say 96, world class. Would not argue with that at all. It is a world class beer. Wish I could get this particular beer here. Get the regular Old Rasputin, but don't get any of the bourbon barrel aged stuff. And if it does come here, it is snatched up so fast, I don't get in there to, to get it, get my, my grubby little hands on it. So let's go over to uh, Rate Beer, and Rate Beer says. 100 overall and 99 in the style. That's about where I would put it. Uh, it's got the uh, it's got the Imper Russian Imperial Stout 14, and it tells you that uh, if you go to any of the sites, it was a brewed once beer. I think this is last year's edition. I'm not sure because it does not say what year that it was done. But being a beer this big, uh, I mean, if you really wanted to know, you could go to their website and it probably tells you uh, uh, what year the 14 was done. And it says it is a retired beer. That tells me that it was either last year or the year before. So it is what it is. Uh, thanks again for all the 10,000 subscribers that have uh, clicked that subscribe button and uh, watch and post comments to my site. So, guys. This is a 10,000 subscriber special, and the beer was extra special. Uh, I loved it. The other half loved it too. So, guys, hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See if we're lucky enough to get another 10 beer. Join me then.